hey hey welcome back to my channel so it has been quite the year and we are heading into the new year where I'll be making some changes but we'll talk about that in another video today's video we're gonna be talking about my winter wash day routine so I've been rocking this little crusty dusty bun for about a week and a half now and it's really that time to go ahead and wash all this product out of my hair as you can see, it's a little tangled back there, but we're going to handle that. So I have a condition called seborrheic dermatitis, which is when certain areas of your body, usually where hair is grown, get really itchy, dry, and flaky. I suffer from it on my scalp, my eyebrows, and my ears. Lots of areas where your skin usually produces a lot of oils. So I use this special product for my hair called Nioxin. Nioxin helps reduce the inflammation that causes the itchiness and helps to put out that fire after scratching from all of the itchiness. It also helps heal the skin and get rid of all that dead skin on your scalp so that the products that you use in your hair can actually penetrate the scalp. Uh, I tend to use this at least once or twice a month, sometimes more in the winter time because I deal with that more frequently in the cold months. But this product has been helping for me so, so much and I really love using it. So what you've just seen here was me rinsing out all of the product that I had in my hair from throughout the week. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply the shampoo. Now what I do is apply the shampoo only to my scalp because it can be drying for your actual hair. I do rough parts with my fingers throughout my scalp and I massage the shampoo directly onto my scalp through each part so that I know I'm not getting too much of the shampoo on my hair. And I will also follow up with this with a regular shampoo. Now, once I've gotten all the shampoo on my scalp, I go ahead and massage it in and let it sit in my hair for a little while so that it has time to work. This massage feels so good because this shampoo does have like a little bit of a tingly sensation for the scalp and it just feels nice and cool and calming. Now once I rinse out that shampoo, I'm going to go ahead in with this Chi shampoo that I love that has carotene in it. And I'm going to just shampoo my entire head and scalp with this shampoo. This shampoo smells so good. I absolutely love it. It smells like really expensive, like some perfume. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. I didn't use very much shampoo for my hair. And you see how much of a lather I got. It's really worth the price tag. It's not that expensive. I think I paid $20 for it. So it wasn't too bad. Now that I have completed the shampoo of my full head and scalp, I'm going to go in with the Nioxin conditioner. Now I went ahead and did the same thing by parting my scalp and massaging it in and then I just let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes after I'm done massaging it in. This conditioner does have that extreme tingly cool sensation so it's kind of hard for me to leave it in there, but I do. And y'all know. Don't act like y'all don't know. We use these we, these grocery bags here for the conditioning cap. Like, we're not about to spend no money when we don't have to. Because, why not? They free. You got them in the house anyway. Okay? Conditioning cap. Once we're all tucked in, I make sure to wrap my head with a towel to hold all the heat in so that the 
conditioner penetrates my scalp and I go ahead and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Don't mind me y'all, I'm just going ahead and posing for my thumbnail so y'all can see it. <laughs> Now at this stage in the wash, I like to go ahead and detangle my hair while the conditioner is still in it. I do not like to comb my hair or put any type of tools in my hair while it is still dry because I'm not about to give myself no headache trying to comb this out and brush this out. None of that. None of that. So we do it while it's wet with the conditioner in it because the conditioner does create slip to prevent knots and tangles. Now this shower comb, I believe I got from Target. I absolutely love it because um, I, sometimes I wash my hair in the shower and it has a little hook on the end so I can hang it up in the shower when I'm done and I don't have to be looking for it when it's time to wash my hair. And that's all there is to it. After this, I usually just wash this out and I'll use a leave-in conditioner and do the lock method with an oil in my hair. Um, I really don't do so much, honestly. It's pretty simple, just a couple of steps. Um, but while I have you guys here, I wanna go ahead and talk about a few things. So first of all, um, I know Vlogmas didn't go the way that we planned, and I'm sorry about that. I had a lot going on. However, in the new year, I do plan to be more consistent with my YouTube channel because y'all deserve that. Like, the 200 and something of y'all that's been sticking beside me, I really love it. I like that somebody is really enjoying my content, and it's nice to see myself grow and learn and you guys are there to support me so thank you for watching another video i can't wait to see you in the new year there is so much that i want to do and so much that you guys are coming along with me for so get ready stay tuned for what's coming thank you all for all this love and support throughout 2022 2022 sorry y'all and i'll see you in the next one bye